And the idea is that I want to see if I can be the first person in history to go to every country in the world without boarding an airplane at any point. Meet Torbjörn and Peterson, a 35-year-old goodwill ambassador of the Red Cross, whose mission, which began last year, is to travel the world without the use of a plane. Thor left his home country of Denmark in 2013 to embark on this four-year journey entitled Once Upon a Saga. Denmark's a small country. Um, I'm used to saying it's a small country, but now your country is somewhat <laughs> small as well. Um, we're, there's just five million of us. We're up in the northern part of Europe. It's a relatively cold country. Um, we feel it's nice and warm in the summertime when we have 25 degrees and we wear shorts and go out for barbecue and whatnot. Mm. You might have minus five, minus 10 in the winter time. It's a completely flat country. It's fairly expensive. We pay roughly 50% taxes in our country, but salaries are also a bit higher than they are here. Cool. I love my country. I think it's beautiful, but I love so many countries around <laughs> the world and it's interesting to be away from home for so long. Like many of us, Thor has always wanted to travel the world, but deemed it impossible because of harsh realities like a lack of funding. His friends back home only fed the negativity, thinking he'd get the idea out of his head and get back to the real world. But the young adventurer didn't give up on his dream, and his perseverance did him well when he discovered that a British man by the name of Graham Hughes accomplished this feat on a limited budget within the space of four years. And they were looking at me with these glassy eyes going like, you're not going to every country in the world. Like, this will be in your head for a couple of weeks, and then you'll think of something else. But it kind of stuck with me. And um, then one day I was talking to one friend and she said, you know, something like this, you can, you can get that sponsored. This is so big, you can have that sponsored. I think that lifted it up again. On a mere 20 US dollars a day, Thor left his home one step closer to achieving his goal. But not traveling by plane has its disadvantages. I went to Iceland and I started looking for a boat and it took me about uh, five, six weeks. And I found a shrimp trawler that could take me up to Greenland. So it was really difficult for me to get there. I found a container carrier that got me higher up into Greenland. And then once I was there, it was equally difficult to get away. <laughs> so the first uh, option I had was to get on a fishing boat two months later, and I jumped on that and got away. He also let us in on how he's able to stick to this low budget. I still have uh, all of Africa to visit. I have uh, all of Asia to visit. And there are some very, very cheap countries to travel by there. So it should be able to bring me down if I... If I eat street food and I public transportation, a lot of the time a bus will not cost you a lot of money yeah. to travel with that. And um, you can, I have a hammock, I can put that up, yeah. or I can couch surf, um, I can sleep in, um, in, a, in a hostel where they have a dorm room with 12 or 15 beds. Yeah. It brings the cost down. Yeah. His journey took him across the Americas and other regions until arriving in country number 63, our Pilau cultured island of Trinidad and Tobago. This is country number 63, wow. and I've been traveling for a bit more than a year. I started on the 10th of October, mm. 2013, at 10.10 a.m. in the morning. So it would be 10th of October, 10.10, and 10.10 a.m., 10.10, 10.10. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, I was given the honor because of the unique nature of this project to travel as Goodwill Ambassador for the Danish Red Cross. Okay. And uh, the Red Cross was founded in 1863, and the first mission that the Red Cross had was the year after in 1864, and it took place in a war between Denmark and Germany. So there's been Red Cross presence in Denmark for 150 years. And there's a windmill, an old windmill, that stands at the border between Denmark and Germany. And I thought that would be a nice place to start. So I crossed the border into Germany from there. I did 37 countries within Europe by trains and buses. I came across the North Atlantic on seven different boats, fishing boats, shrimp trawlers, container carriers, got to Canada, eventually Canada and the United States of America was with trains and buses. From there, buses, buses, buses all the way down to Panama, got on a boat that took me across the Darien Gap so I could get to Colombia, and then you have 12 countries in South America and all of that was with buses. And recently I came across from Venezuela on a small open boat um, to your fine country, Trinidad and Tobago. But how did we catch his interest? Thor communicates and blogs about the trip on social platforms like Facebook and Reddit, where he was invited by a local by the name of Zach, who seems to be quite the teacher when it comes to local slang. Six months later, I made it all the way down here, and, um, and he was standing waiting for me when I arrived. And I've been spending a, a few nights at his place now, and we've been hanging out. We've been, uh, I'm, I'm trying to learn some of the local slang here. We've been liming and whining and all that sort of stuff. That's, that's, that's. The invitation was one thing. Thor would now have to cross the border from Venezuela to get here, which according to him was no easy task. Apparently, Trinidad and Tobago's customs and border protection officers aren't as lenient as in other countries, 
which seemed to impress Tho. So, kudos to the Ministry of National Security for that. A small boat, unannounced, arriving to a very modern country, um, an oil-rich country, an organized country. Um, not thinking that it would be a problem in any way. I have my passport, <laughs> right. uh, you know, I have a letter from the Red Cross stating uh, that I'm on this mission going to every country in the world, and I thought that would be enough. And so unannounced I arrive, and I had to wait for a bit, and uh, this, uh, this immigration officer, he came, and he said, so can you prove to me that you're not going to stay here? I said, yeah, well, you know, I'm traveling to every country in the world, and this is country number 63, and there's 203 countries that I'm going to, mm -hmm. so I'm going to number 64 and number 65. I have no intentions of staying here. Yes, but can you prove it? <laughs> After some deliberation and clearance, he was allowed to enter, where his week-long experience would begin. Within the first 30 minutes of my arrival, I had doubles, oh. and uh, that was really good. I liked <laughs> that. Um, I've had uh, roti uh, a few times. I had uh, kalalu. Mm. I had, um, had this fish soup last night, which was cooked in a Jamaican manner, I believe, or so. We went to, um, we went to a beach, and we went to pick up some chow on the way. And I got a fruit that I've never tasted in my life. It turned out to be palm city. And there was seasoning on top of it. And back where I'm from, you get an apple, you get an apple, and you right. know, you get a pear or a banana, you get a pear, and you eat it like that. Right. Um, but here you put spices and stuff yeah. on it. Every day. Uh, and, Every day. <laughs> and I'm still undecided what I think about it. It's such an. <laughs> and this is, this is what I'm here for, you know? But apart from the food, he says his experience with Trinidadian people was almost immeasurable. Here, people might offer me their entire life, you know, it's just, welcome, um, it's so nice to see you, you traveled all this way, come inside, meet my friends and family. Back home, it would be more so that, no, you need directions, yeah, you, you go over here and turn left, and so is there anything else you need, uh, ask someone else, you know. Thor left Trinidad on Friday, headed to Grenada, as he makes his way across the Caribbean. After that, I have to cross the Atlantic again. It will be Africa. There's 54 countries in Africa. Visiting all of them, and then I'm going to the Middle East, visiting that, across Asia. Then I have the Pacific, down to New Zealand, up to Australia. A few more countries, and then I'm finishing off with the Maldives and Seychelles. It should take me about three more years. The idea behind it is that we want to show people that you do not need to be a millionaire to start crossing borders, get in, meeting different cultures, meeting new people, and hopefully making new friends. And made new friends he has. I may have only sat down with him for 30 minutes, but Thor is one of the most interesting people I have ever met, and we here at Win Caribbean and the rest of Trinidad and Tobago wish him a very safe and enjoyable journey. And anyone interested in following Thor's travels can look out for Once Upon a Saga on Facebook. The project is called Once Upon a Saga, and it runs on uh, Facebook. That's where I put uh, more of my, most of my time. There's a blog that comes out every Friday. There's Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube as well. But Facebook is really the main place. So Hassan Khan, When Eyewitness News.